trying a new piece of gear today. We're going to be trying a 12 Survivors Shire 2P10, two person tent. I've heard good things about it, but I got a pretty good, I got it for like 50 bucks. I got a really crazy good deal on it. And it seems like it's a pretty good, pretty good deal. I had used it once before, but I haven't really taken this camping with me yet. I always like to test the gear out before I put it on camera even because I really want to make sure that it's good enough to actually take camping with you at least. I mean you never know how good something is until you really get a chance to try it out. So that's what we're doing. Our stakes and our tent poles. Found this nice little area. Don't seem like anybody ever comes to it. Had to drive down a bunch of dirt roads to get to this place, but <laughs> I mean, it looks pretty nice. But we're gonna have some fun with this tent tonight, guys. It's got a nice little pocket right there. Got my wool blanket, Italian wool blanket. Laying down here, it opens from both sides as you can see. It's got this nice little area right here. I can store things as well. If I want to keep my pack there, gives me that option. It's a pretty decent little tent, it's not bad. Should get me through the night. Got a whole bunch of big stuff and a whole bunch of little stuff. Hey guys, we're gonna go ahead, since we're on this open prairie, we're gonna go ahead and start us an old cowboy style fire. Starting to wind, the wind's starting to pick up. But I got me some flint and steel. We are gonna have some fun with this, guys.
going. Presto fire. Mother Nature decided to help us out a little bit. You've got to love the canteens that you get nowadays. You can get these little stoves with them, like I got here. You just feed your kindling into that little holes. You like to set up so the wind blows into the holes and it really cooks good like that. Perfect for using pots and things. Boiling water, awesome little setup. <clears throat> Look at that chili boil. Something about cooking chili over a campfire that just makes it taste so much better. I don't know why it is, it just kind of seems like it. Any, anytime you cook anything over a campfire, it just tastes so much better. That is going to be ready to eat soon. All stuck together. It should work. I hope it works. Either way, I'm gonna eat it. I don't got a spatula, so I'm gonna be using my spoon here, my spork. Hopefully, it works out. Should it's worked in the past. There we go. Not too bad for a spoon. You can see that's all the firewood I got left from last night. Use all the big stuff up. It got really cold though. The coyotes kind of kept me up last night. They woke me up one or two times, but I still managed to get five or six hours of sleep. So I did sleep pretty good throughout the night. You know, coyotes are coyotes. They don't really bother you too much. They're just loud more than anything, at least for people anyway. But as far as the tent goes, the tent held up pretty good. It didn't rain or anything last night, so I can't say that it's going to be great in the rain. So as far as last night went, it was a nice night. I didn't have any problems with any, any tears or anything with that like that whenever I was putting it up. It held up real nice. But I want to thank everybody for watching this video. Hit the like button, subscribe, leave any comments, and as always, keep your blade sharp, your mind sharper. See you next time. Thanks for watching.